It has been a violent start to this week right here in Louisville, sending several people to the hospital and leaving a community frustrated about what they say is a lack of action. Hello, everybody. It's our top story in the WHS 1119. team. I'm Doug Prophet. Four people were sent to the hospital in four separate shootings that started at around 215 this afternoon. Metro police say all are expected to survive. One of those victims is a teenage girl. She was shot just before six tonight around Victory Park, where a kids fest was underway to keep children busy during spring break as JCPS is out all this week long. WHS 1119's Tom Lally and photojournalist Ian Hartwit were there. They're joining us live from UofL Hospital downtown where the girl was taken. Tom, do we know how she's doing tonight? Yeah, police say she was alert and talking with them on her way to U of L hospital, and they're expecting her to survive this shooting near Victory Park, what neighbors say could have been prevented. All this could have been prevented. All they had to do was be here. As more than two dozen rounds fired off on West Kentucky Street, a teen girl was shot and a park full of children hid in fear. The trauma that they experienced today? That's going to affect them. More than 20 kids were at Victory Park on the first day of spring break at a kids fest, making sure youth had activities to deter violence put on by California neighborhood leaders like Norman Parker. This is the actual work of what they're talking about doing. Parker showed me texts he sent to LMPD command staff requesting an officer be at their event. He didn't get a response or a police presence until a teen was shot. When they get here, they treat us as if we're the ones that was doing the shooting. They come at when there's a body. They don't come to stop the body from happening. One police could have stopped that. Still, organizers will continue their events here at Victory Park through the rest of the week because they say it's a part of solving community violence. There's a way to stop all of this. And that's by giving these young people the opportunity, places and things that they can do where they safe at. This is what we called ourselves doing, creating a safe atmosphere where they can eat, play games, play with each other under the supervision of adults. In response, LMPD told us a police presence requires a permit and quote, the only planned permitted event at Victory Park is a block party at the end of the month. They said to keep in mind, LMPD cannot simply provide security at all events in the metro. They also said they are 288 officers short and they strongly encourage event organizers to work through the permit process and seek security from private security companies. Michael Ballard, one of the men you heard from there, was a prominent voice in the mayor's anti-violence summits, and he places blame for this on the mayor and what he called a lack of proactive policing. I reached out to the mayor's office for comment tonight, but as of this newscast, have not heard back. Live in Louisville, Tom Lally, WHAS 11, on your side.